When it comes to the slightest hint of flammable liquids, this trio are not to be sniffed at. Meet Ellie, Peppa and Kai with handler Matt Dixon. The West Midlands Fire Service investigation dogs are responsible for detecting the faintest smell. So I'm just going to, on the end of this stick, I'm just going to touch it on the surface of the white spirit. So I'm not getting much, I'm just a tiny little drop. Um, and I'm going to hide this and he's obviously going to go and find it. Matt has been a dog handler with West Midlands Fire Service for over seven years, covering West Midlands, Staffordshire, Shropshire, Herefordshire, Worcester and Warwickshire. Nationally, there are somewhere in a region of about 15 fire investigation dog teams. The role sniffer dogs play is vital to the fire service by finding crucial evidence and helping bring criminals to justice. The big misconception of an arsonist is if you put a flammable liquid down to start a fire and ignite it, it's all going to burn off. It isn't. There's going to be a little trace left behind somewhere. Um, and it's those tiny little traces that the human nose isn't going to find, but it's those little traces that we will use the dogs to find. They, they just they make it look so easy and so simple. Um, and they're, they're invaluable. They will find traces of flammable liquid that we wouldn't have found. They're invaluable as a resource. The, the work they do, the time they save us on fire scenes, the money that they save us um, by not having to be at a fire scene for, for quite so long. You never know when the alarm will sound, as we found out during our interview. Would it? Not for the dogs. They're going out. So after Greenwatch at Fallings Park Fire Station were gone, Matt explained more about the dogs' training. So from a very young age, I get the dogs very focused on playing with a tennis ball. And I get to the stage where the tennis ball or their toy becomes the most important thing in the world to them. All the training is done with that, so you train your dog to search for its toy. Ellie has recently retired from service. She was 12 when she retired. Um, she had worked from the age of about three, so she'd, she'd had a good, a good working career. When they retire, it's nice that I get to keep them and they get to, they get to carry on being, being pets. Leave. Kai, come here. And I, I get to see the end result of, of all the positivity that comes out of what they're doing and, and, and what they're doing for fun. So, yeah, it's, it's the best job in the world, really.